Hi Vogue, this is Nicki Minaj and this is my life and looks. This look is my first album cover. Album name, Pink Friday. This is one of the most important shoots I've ever done. What we were going for in this shoot was trying to make me look like a big Barbie doll. Once I saw the photo, I loved it, but I wanted the dress to be like more poofy. I kept on saying, oh my God, it's not poofy, poofy, poofy. They go, oh, well, let's just draw the extra lace on behind you. We did it. And that's the beauty of the some of the best photo shoots is that you don't know what the heck you're gonna get. And then you leave with something more gorgeous, beautiful, and iconic. Oh, this is me on the BET red carpet. The first time I ever performed on the BET Awards when I performed three times. I'm wearing Rochas and I was feeling very elongated. Therefore, I was doing my fake model pose. I loved this chandelier necklace. Actually, it looks really chic. The hair is a uh, no, but it was the first time I believe I wore that color and I'm happy I did it. Oh my goodness, one of my faves of all time, actually. Very special, my first time ever being shot in Vogue, wearing Oscar de la Renta. Here's something you guys don't know, I was not painted blue for this. In fact, I didn't find out until the book came out. The color was treated in post by the world-renowned Stephen Klein, and he made this into something so iconic to me, it just worked. All right, this next look is me and my mother at the Oscar de la Renta show in 2018 in New York City. Fernando of Oscar de la Renta is a very great friend of mine. I really, really love him. He, you know, invited us and I said, this would be amazing to bring my mother there. I'm in New York. And uh, he said, I'll dress your mom. I said, no way. He was like, we will dress your mom, Nick. We got you. I mean, that in itself was just such a beautiful thing to hear. I wasn't expecting it. I'll never forget it. Mark Jacobs, 2018, New York City. Well, first I was happy that I made it in the door because the year prior, I was late and I was locked out. I've never been to a Mark Jacobs runway show that I didn't think was perfect hands across the board. To me, the artistry was just always next level, always seemed so thought out, so rich. I wanted something that felt the least safe. I didn't want to feel like sticking to the rules. I wanted to have Mark Jacobs meet Nicki Minaj. Not Nicki Minaj goes all the way over to Mark Jacobs with no Nicki Minaj left and da da da. I loved this dress. I loved the, the color. The dress seems like a sophisticated, rich lady that, um, you know, wears huge ballroom gowns and has all these parties every night. But the face is given. To, I love the look from head to toe. OMG, 2018 Versace Milan Fashion Week. I hate gloves. I feel like they increase anxiety. I am the one that put together my scarf around my face like that. Look at the beautiful colors on this. Look at the you know, even the belt, all the chains are Versace. I haven't texted with Donatella in a while, but she's always a lot of fun to hang out with. She's always willing and ready to turn up. <laughs> oh, no. I just realized just this moment that actually there was something good that came out of this. It's what really cemented the fact for me that I had to get my breast reduction. I did my fittings and stuff. I told him I loved this hat. I loved what the outfit was giving. But I said, you guys, listen, look, these boobs are gonna be spilling out. And by the time we were ready to go, I looked in the mirror, I said, guys, my boobs are still spilling out. And Naomi Campbell was walking in and out of the room, looking at me like, girl, let's go. I knew before we even left the room that 
the boobs were about to have a night of their own. Okay, this is 2023 Barbie premiere wearing Aliyah. Of course, I didn't want to do something predictable and wear pink. Aliyah happens to be one of my favorite brands. The way they fit, the way they, there's always like something sexy about it. It's been one of my favorite brands for a long time. I haven't worn it for a long time though. So this was the first time wearing it to nothing other than the amazing epic Barbie movie world premiere in California. I really loved meeting Margot Robbie. That was really, really dull, but a lot of full circleness that night. O-M-G. What we are looking at, ladies and gentlemen, is the best thing that's happened all year. Dolce & Gabbana, Nicki Minaj, MTV Awards, where I hosted and performed three times. We literally had to run to make the red carpet. Normally, I always say, you know what, it's okay. I'm not gonna run. I'm not gonna go that hard to make red carpet if it's a, a show that I'm performing on. This look was so amazing. Everybody on my team said, oh hell to the no. We are getting on this carpet. I'm talking about the fabric, the polka dot, the veil, honey child, listen. This, please. Well, this made me light up. Vitamin, or as I called it on the album, vitamins. Where I'm from, we give designers our own names and that's what we call them. I just loved that it didn't have to show any skin. I just loved that sometimes women are the most confident when they're completely covered up. I saw my fans debating about, is she going there or is she coming from there? And I love the discussion. I just want people to decide for themselves what it makes them feel first. And then maybe after the album is out, maybe I'll share my thoughts. December 2023 Vogue cover shot by Norman Jean Roy. A full circle moment of all full circle moments. I think I'm still like in a little bit of disbelief. This just feels epic. It feels like a triumphant moment. And what makes this though beyond special is me being able to do this with my son. That is just what makes it a memory that I will always treasure. As I was holding him and I was very uncomfortable because my leg was the way, it was just uncomfortable. But all of a sudden he must have felt just complete comfort and peace and he just fell asleep. And it was just the most beautiful thing. And it just made me really emotional and I started to cry. I couldn't, I couldn't, like that moment was just everything. The other thing that makes this special is that this was the addition to celebrate 50 years of hip hop. What better way to celebrate that than to bridge both worlds, the fashion world and the hip hop world, which have always gone hand in hand. To me, both of these worlds survive together and and play off of each other in such a special way and always have and, and always will well vogue thank you for joining me for life and looks how fun